Yeah, was there ever yeah. talk about um, bringing your character back again and it just didn't work out or was that offer never made? Frida no, came back made. twice. Yes, Frida came back twice. Yeah. Uh, the offer was made. Okay. Uh, uh, I got two phone calls, I believe for perhaps the same two episodes that, uh, uh, that Frida appeared on. Um, but both times I was otherwise engaged and, and could not uh, make time for it. Um, I was very lucky at that period of my life to be working almost constantly, uh, not only on Star Trek, but on other things as well. Um, people are probably aware of my uh, uh, my character on, on Buffy. Uh, but the, I was doing tons of other shows in addition to those two shows. So there just wasn't time to fly to Vancouver and, and, and do that. Um, I, I regret that, but um, I'm glad they used... Uh, um, um, Frida. Frida. I'm glad I'm glad they use Frida as often as they did. Absolutely. Brad Wright himself has said, um, because you have to understand that the so the there's there's four great races that made up the galaxy eons ago. The Nox, the Asgard, which are the little gray guys in the show, the Furlings, which we never we never see, and then the ancients who built the gates. Um we we spend the entire show finding their technology everywhere. But we never find any Knox tech, and it's it's Brad Wright's argument that uh, he believes that the and he created the the series with Jonathan Glasner that the Knox were even more powerful than the Ancients, but wow. they choose not to use their power. They choose to keep their heads down and stay alone, which is an interesting thought. Um, good for them. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, uh, it was a delightful episode, and and to get into the mindset of that was. It was quite wonderful. Um, uh, and again, after I, you know, once I got the script, um, uh, I, I really thought these are great characters. And so, and it also gave me the opportunity to do something completely different than what people normally were giving me. Usually I was playing uh, comic villains and stuff like that. So um, to play to play something so soulful mm -hmm. and familial because it was not just about their technology, but about the relationship of these four characters, uh, you know, the four of us in, uh, in tights there um, was, um, was lovely. Just, I don't get that opportunity very often. And so it was a delight. And again, the, the Stargate people were wonderful as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. It's he's so low key where it's Quark's a people person. That's right. That's <laughs> uh, now that I have a lot of time, I would love to go do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I really did like that character a great deal. And and only because of circumstances was I not able to recreate mm -hmm. that character more than once. Linda, thank you so much for, for doing all uh, the, the research uh, with me to, to bring us up to speed. You read much faster than I do. And, and um, yeah. I... Uh, Pure pleasure. Thank you, Armin, for all this. I'd like to bring in some fan questions, if you don't mind. Sure. But before you, I just want to thank Linda for go going through the novels and, and for the very good questions. And I think you'll be surprised. You said you've gotten through the, the first third of, this, of the third book. I think you'll be surprised and gratified um, by the end of the book if you if you choose to finish it. Oh, I've I've got cocoa to make over on the counter, and as soon as we're done, I'm just going to curl up and keep going. Good. I'm really enjoying it, and I Good. I can't recommend the books highly enough to other people. Thank you. Yeah, I asked her last night. I, I said, "You're are you now that we're finished? Are you gonna are you gonna put it down? Finish with the interview tomorrow?" And she's like, "No, I'm." I'm I I'm not going to leave this here. <laughs> There's no spoiler at the end. There's no uh, cliffhanger in the third book. So. <laughs> That's good. Or I'd be demanding you write a fourth immediately. <laughs> right. Which my publishers are doing. They're demanding I write another one. So. <laughs> oh, excellent. I, I'm egging them on and I'm egging you on. Jer and Jeremy Heiner. Armin, what was it like reprising Quark in Lower Decks? Lower Decks. It was great fun. Um, great fun. I, I hadn't been in that mindset for a while, although because I've done enough conventions, uh, one never forgets. And of course, seven years, how can you forget? Uh, and I had a great uh, honor to, uh, to to represent Deep Space Nine on Lower Decks, as well as Nana Visitor did as well. We mm -hmm. were very flattered and very um, appreciative, very appreciative of the fact that Lower Decks decided to use our characters again. 
Um, and we hope that uh, secretly, Nana and I hope that we get another opportunity to do that. I, I hope so as well. Did you have to and put... To bring in, and to bring in others. And to bring Absolutely. In others. Yeah, they haven't moved. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Picard because they also were saying that it's it's a it's a DS nine continuation as well, which all of us are like, hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, um, no, nothing against Patrick, but before they started uh, Picard, uh, he said, "Armin, I love the Ferengi. I, I love you. Um, we'll get you into Picard." Well, they've done three seasons. <laughs> I've yet to get a phone call uh, for that show. But um, did, I think you were about to ask, did I have to wear the teeth? Um, for the audio. The you were about, yeah, yeah, for the audio. Um, I did wear a set of teeth that I had made for me uh, because my set of teeth uh, uh, doesn't fit anymore. Oh. One of the things about the human body is that your teeth move in your mouth. Right. And so the prosthetic, uh, after all these years, no longer fit the teeth that I now have or the positions that the, my teeth are now in so i couldn't put them in there was no way to get them in to stay there and, and actually be understandable so uh not for lower decks but for something else i had a new set of teeth made so i did wear those teeth mm. um for the show but they weren't constructed the same way the show's teeth were they were prosthetics but but they weren't constructed and so there are times when i listen to lower decks and it went, it doesn't sound like the teeth are in. Um, so, so yes, they're in, but the sound quality isn't comparable to the original set of teeth that I had on the show. Here's the thing. Um, you're aging, but Quark was also aging as well. So I think you could maybe yes, make the He ages excuse. a lot slower than I do. Uh, <laughs> Ferengi, as I understand the mythology, I live a great long time. That's true. So um, I would make and, that excuse, though. Quark's teeth yeah. have also changed, too. Uh, one would think, especially since he sharpens them all the time with a little two sharpener prop that we we had a couple of times on a couple of episodes. General Maximus just wanted to make your com uh, a comment. Your character and race are arguably the most underdeveloped in the franchise, and fans are desperate to see and know more. Here, here. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I would be desperate, and I'm sure so would Max, so would Jeff, uh, so would all the other actors who played Ferengi. Uh, to uh, to see more of the Ferengi. And I would be, people will often ask, would you go back and recreate Quark? Uh, and my answer is, I would love to do a recurring character on some show, but that would be terrific. And I, and I hope, as I said about Lower Decks as well, I hope that that does happen. I think uh, being of the age that I am, uh, I, I would be a little bit reluctant if they were to say to me, we're going to do a whole show around Quark and then you're, mm. you're going to be the series regular. Um, I, I, I don't know if I could face that uh, makeup process mm -hmm. day after day after day uh, as well as I did when I was in my 40s. Mm -hmm. So um, that, but to, to come back and do a recurring character, um, I, I, I would love to do that. Just for clarification, uh, he was referring to the Knox. Oh, oh, so, so sorry. Most people ask That me works that as well, too. Yeah. Thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the other side.